Today I'm going to show you how to use limit testing for the 53100 series of counters. We've got a 10 megahertz signal that's being measured by a 53132A counter. First thing that we do is set our upper and lower limits. So I press the upper and lower limits key and set up my upper limit for a 10.2 megahertz signal. So here's my 10 and I scroll over and enter in 10.2 megahertz as my upper limit. I press the upper and lower limit again to get to my lower limit. I scroll over to set my lower limit as being 9.8 megahertz. This will now tell me whether my input signal is drifting beyond 200 kilohertz of the desired frequency. I can press my limit modes and you can see that my limit test has already been turned on at this time. So I press run and I will get my measurement again of 10 megahertz. If I increase my frequency to go beyond the 10.2 megahertz upper limit, you can see that my limit indicator turns on. If I end up going back to 10 megahertz, my limit indicator goes away, telling me that I am within my limits. And if I go below 9.8 megahertz, my limit indicator turns on again to show me that I have exceeded my limits. That is how you set up some basic limit testing for the 53100 series of counters.